We offer an alternative perspective on relations as separated graphs. Recall that the category of graphs is the category of presheaves on a category with two objects, V and A, and two non-identity morphisms, S and T, from V to A. The double negation topology, which can be interpreted as the following subobject of the subobject classifier. Then the category of separated objects with respect to this topology is reflective in the category of graphs, and a graph is separated when for any two vertices in it, there is at most one arc with the source at one vertex and the target at the other vertex. In other words, we have the category of set relations isomorphic to the category of separated graphs with respect to the double negation topology. The isomorphism is defined on objects by taking a relation xr to the graph with r as its set of arrows or arcs and x as its set of vertices. The inverse is given by taking a separated graph to the relation where the set of arcs are considered as the subset of the product. And this induced morphism is a monomorphism precisely when a graph is separated. Thus, as a corollary, we have the category of relations is a Grotendieck quasi-topos. So for example, we know that it is complete and co-complete and has exponents and a extremal subobject classifier. So we see that we can view the category of set relations as a category of S spaces for the squaring endofunctor on set or as separated graphs. In either case, we should get a sense that relations have a very basic geometric structure.